Jacob van Loo was a renowned Dutch painter of the Dutch Golden Age, born in 1614. He was primarily active in Amsterdam and later in Paris after 1660. Jacob van Loo was known for his conversational groupings, particularly his mythological and biblical scenes. His paintings were categorized as history painting, showcasing his exceptional talent. One of his notable achievements was his ability to create remarkable nudes, which were considered superior and more popular than even those of his contemporary and competitor Rembrandt. In 1663, three years after relocating to Paris, Jacob van Loo was accepted into the prestigious Academy Royale de Peinture et de Sculpture. His acceptance into this academy further solidified his reputation as a prominent artist. Jacob van Loo, born in Sluis, the Dutch Republic, was a renowned painter of the Baroque style. Influenced by artists like Thomas de Keyser and Jacob Adriaens Backer, he began his artistic journey under the guidance of his father, Jan van Loo. Little is known about his early years due to the loss of city archives during World War II. In 1635, he moved to Amsterdam, where he became part of a vibrant artistic community that included Rembrandt and Franz Hals. Van Loo's talent and skill earned him recognition, and he was even counted among the most significant Dutch painters by Jan Vos in 1654. In Amsterdam, Van Loo married Anna Lengeli, and they had six children, including the notable painters Jean and Louis Abraham Van Loo. Their grandsons, Jean Baptiste and Charles André Van Loo, went on to become renowned French painters of the 18th century. Van Loo's studio attracted apprentices, and one of his notable students was Eglon van der Neer. His contributions to the art scene in Amsterdam were significant, and he was considered a major influence on artists like Johannes Vermeer. Van Loo's portraits, including those of prominent individuals such as Johan Heidkoper van Marseveen and Lucretia Budian, exemplify his mastery of the form. In 1660, tragedy struck when Van Loo fatally stabbed someone during an altercation, forcing him to flee Amsterdam. He was sentenced to death in absentia, preventing his return to the Dutch Republic. Van Loo sought refuge in Paris, where he was admitted to the esteemed Academy de Peinture et de Sculpture in 1663. He continued to create art until his death in 1670. Van Loo's influence extended beyond his lifetime, with his artistic techniques and style inspiring future generations. His impact can be seen in the works of his famous grandsons, Jean Baptiste and Charles André Van Loo, as well as other talented artists such as Francois André Vincent and Jean Baptiste Regnault. In conclusion, Jacob Van Loo, a renowned Dutch painter of the Baroque style, left a lasting impact on the art world. His exceptional talent in creating conversational groupings, particularly his mythological and biblical scenes, solidified his reputation as a prominent artist. Van Loo's remarkable ability to paint nudes, even superior to his contemporary Rembrandt, further showcased his skill and creativity. His acceptance into the prestigious Academy Royale de Peinture et de Sculpture in Paris further cemented his status as a significant figure in the art scene. Van Loo's influence extended beyond his own artwork, as he had notable students and his family members, such as his grandsons, who became renowned painters themselves. Despite facing personal tragedy and being unable to return to the Dutch Republic, Van Loo sought refuge in Paris and continued to create art until his death. His artistic techniques and style inspired future generations, leaving a lasting legacy in the works of his descendants and other talented artists.